Today we're going to cover the NYSE 10% volume index and we have charted it against the NYSE composite and we've done it over a 20 year period so we have a very large sample. The line of demarcation we're going to use for an extreme contra buy indicator is negative 300. So let's go through this and see how it worked. It's obviously a pretty rare occurrence. Uh, here in 2019, it worked, uh, end of 2018, it worked great, uh, across that negative 300. Here in, uh, 2015, it worked great for this bounce here. It's a hair bit early, uh, just to note, but, uh, but definitely got the bounce here. And then you got the rollover. So, uh, uh, short to intermediate term, it worked okay. Long term, it worked great, but right in here, you would have taken some pain. Uh, here it worked fantastic in 2012, nice long-term move. Here in the 11 uh, correction, uh, got you in in a great point. You had some short-term chop, but then up and away. Uh, here in 2010, same thing. It gets you in on the early part when the you know the panic selling is just at its extreme, and then you chop around and a nice move up. Even in 2008 and 2009, a generational correction, uh, this did extremely well. Even if you'd bought early on this first signal here, uh, you were good to go for many, many years to, to happen and it recorrected here, which would have made a lot of people nervous, flushed everyone and then kept going. But that was a really generational extreme that it worked quite well. Uh, here in 2002, fantastic. Here in 2001, this was a major bounce. It doesn't look like it on the chart, but that was a great signal as well. So this is more of a long, longer term indicator, generally speaking, and certainly one to keep an eye on at those important inflection points.